The first stitch that I'm going to teach you, one of our basic stitches, is going to be a running stitch. I'm coming up from the bottom. I'm going to hold the tail like this. You don't need more than a couple inches or the length of your finger. I'm going to hold that. And a running stitch is what you see a lot with sewing a stitch onto fabric. It's a very basic stitch. We're coming up and down your next square. You can space this out if you want to, but I like to keep it simple. Come up the next one, pull tight, go down the next. You don't need to pull any tighter until when your string stops. You can see from this side, I'm going from bottom to top, from top to bottom. This pattern is a very basic stitch, and you'll notice that it gives you the design of a dashed line. This is something you might even see a sewing machine using. And you can take this all, whoops, might get caught in the corner. If you wanted to go down to the next row, you simply take your needle. Here I am. I'm gonna come down right below where I stopped and work my way back. This is how you do a running stitch. One of our first basic stitches that we're going to practice. If it gets caught in the corner, just gently pull it off. And there we go. This is called a running stitch. Remember, it is a dashed line, a line with some spaces.